Now, here we are standing in front of one of the, I suppose we could say standard suburban tramway waiting sheds. These were in effect uh, small country railway station buildings modified and adapted by the railway department for use on their tramways. Now they came in three styles. They came in what were known as single bays, double bays like we have here, or triple bays, depending upon the amount of passengers that were normally uh, at the various stops. Uh, there were quite a few of these around Sydney. They were dotted everywhere and if you have a look at your photographs uh, in the various books, I'm sure you'll recognise some of the buildings. There were, of course, larger ones and there were smaller ones, but these were what we could call our standard waiting shed. Uh, now, over on the side of the waiting shed here at the museum, we have a Bundy clock. Now, these Bundy clocks were used by the drivers and they were situated at uh, all the major junctions and quite a few places around. The driver would approach the uh, Bundy clock, he would open up the mechanism, insert his key into the hole and check the time and then uh, he would uh, be able to go on his way. Now, the reason for the Bundy clocks was simply to keep the drivers honest. Uh, it meant that they couldn't get there early, they certainly couldn't depart early. If they were running late, then it would be recorded on the tape. And of course, when the tape went into the depot master's office, uh, there'd be a please explain if, uh, if they were too far out. This stopped them from doing anything they shouldn't do, like ducking off and doing a bit of shopping or something on the side. Now, as with the Bundy clocks, of course, most of the major junctions and starting points along the tramway had these little, uh, what were called starters cabins. These little buildings were provided so that the starter or the checker uh, could be out of the weather and somewhere to hang his coat and put his uh, notepad and pen when he wasn't working. Probably the most famous of these and the one that most of us would remember is the little cabin at Circular Quay Terminal. Although there was a large uh, waiting room and staff room there, for some reason or other, immediately outside of it, there was a little starter's cabin situated and it shows up in many of our famous photographs and movies of the Circular Quay area. Um, these little cabins were uh, kept in use almost until the end of the system, even though uh, most of the starters in a later period uh, very rarely used them, apart from hanging up their coat.